everybody, this is Dave Dugdale, learningdslrvideo.com. And on the Canon T3i 600D, there's basically three menu systems. There's the quick menu, there's a menu system designed for stills, and the menu system pretty much designed for movies. Before I go any further, let me clear up some confusion because when I got my Canon DSLR, I was extremely confused with all these different menus. And I can demonstrate the kind of confusion I was having with a quick demonstration. I'm going to be throwing a lot of technical terms here. Don't worry, I'm going to cover them more in depth later in the series. But right now, I want to help clear up all this confusion. For my example, let's say you're shooting pictures in a really high shutter speed, uh, f-stop and ISO, and then you change the mode over to movie, and then you look at the settings and you see that the you've got a low sh shutter speed, f-stop, and ISO. And when I first did this, I was like confused. I was like, well, why don't these carry over these exposure settings? And over time, I've actually kind of appreciated the fact that they don't because I usually only use two shutter speeds. Let's say you're taking some stills in manual mode and you hit the menu button, go to auto lighting optimizer, and you set it to strong because let's say you don't have very good lighting and you want to get more even light on somebody's face. All right, now you go back to movie mode, you hit menu, go to lighting optimizer, and then you notice that it's off. And so you're thinking to yourself, huh, the menu setting for movies is different than the menu setting for stills. Okay, so let's say you're taking some pictures of somebody and you're using the face detection autofocus mode. And let's say you go to the movie mode and you start shooting a movie and you're thinking to yourself, okay, they're gonna be different, so I can set one for face detection on one and I can set one on quick focus on the other. No, they're, they are, they're shared. So that's where it kind of gets confusing. Okay, another example of this is, let's say you're shooting stills and you're shooting spot metering and you go to the menu system and you go and set up the color space to be Adobe RGB. That's all great, thinking that when you go to movie mode, there's none of these options available, so all these are gonna transfer over to movie mode. Well, they don't. As you can see in this movie clip I just shot, that you've got the metering mode is center weighted average and the color space is sRGB. Those are just two items you just can't change. So one item that you don't have to worry about is that the quick menu and the movie menu track perfectly and you don't have to be confused about those two. In the next video I'm going to explain in much greater detail which menu items carry over and which ones don't. But right for right now, I'm going to show you the menu items that are kind of the most important in terms of the quick menu. Autofocus mode carries over from the stills mode. The white balance does not carry over. However, the white balance custom memory does carry over from both menu stills and video. Picture styles does not carry over from stills. Auto lighting optimizer does not carry over from stills. Quality does carry over from the stills menu. Resolution and frame rate doesn't appear in the stills menu, so you really don't have to worry about it. And the same thing goes with video snapshot. Doesn't appear, so you don't have to worry about it. All right, next up I wanna tell you about a few of them in the movie menu system. Highlight tone priority does not carry over. Peripheral illumination correct does carry over. For the most part, all of the wrench menu items do carry over except for the highlight tone priority. Did you catch all that? Did it go too fast? It's all explained in the manual, right? Mm, not really. Don't worry, on the next video I'm gonna go really slow and I'm gonna cover each menu item in detail, show lots of examples, what they are, how they act, and I'm gonna put it all together for you. Also, I'm gonna give you a few methods to easily remember about which menu crosses over and which ones don't. So definitely check out my training page on my website to find out when the next video comes out in this training series. All right, thanks. Bye.